<clears throat> okay, so I thought I was going to start doing this and then I was going to do a recap and stuff and I thought, you know, this part might be valuable because I'm figuring it out as I go as well. So, um, right now what I've done so far is I've put a, a temporary space board on this because I don't want to cut this. If I cut this, I'm going to hit nails, so I don't want to cut this. But I need to make cuts all the way through the materials. So what I'm doing is putting a board down that I can cut into that I don't care about. It's double-sided tape, double-sided tape stuck down with double-sided tape. Um, the next step I ran into is I think I need uh, I need some way to reference the pieces that I'm going to put up because I'm going to be using this to cut more than one piece, or at least I hope so. Having never done this, um, what I thought I would do is put this board down put together a fence that's going to stick down to it that I can push my workpiece up against. That would give me a solid reference. Um, but before I push the workpiece up against it, I'm going to stick this board down and then under manual control, level off this surface and make this fence So I'm going to straight. put this fence on in a place that's fairly parallel, I'm going to hope. Um, and then I'm going to cut it on its edge to... Uh, true it up with the x-axis because the piece I'm cutting needs to have that reference. So we're just going to stick a piece on here roughly parallel I guess and we'll just stick it down and then uh, I'm going to put a cutter in. This cutter is just a uh, V-groove bit that I use, that I think I will use a lot, I don't know, but I'm going to use it for now until I figure out another way to uh, center, so to center the work on the bit at a perfect zero spot. The center is the most important, the, the center of this piece is the most important, what I'm trying to cut, or what I might cut. So I've just got a, uh, it's just a half inch router bit, it's half inch, it's a very long half inch router bit, but it's a white side, um, I believe the flute length is like two and a half inches, it's a pretty good size. And you can tell I've used the crap out of it, which is why it's in here, being my guinea pig, because if I ruin a bit, I won't hurt so bad if I ruin this. I'll miss it, but I have four others, so it's the one I have a lot of and I'm fine with using. Put the bit on here.
was pretty cool. Of course, it now just now dawns on me that I don't need this if I've got a trough with a ledge. But it's okay. This is in, and I think my uh, my trough is pretty flat, and it's it's uh, wide enough to handle the piece that I'm putting in. Yep, that's good. And that is my straight. Cool. That is the first cut this machine has ever made. It wasn't with a program, but still pretty cool.